Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Cross-examination of prosecution witnesses continued Friday in Letcher Circuit Court. Matthew Blackburn, the prosecution's first new witness Friday, answered questions regarding several factors of the case of the stabbing death of 24-year-old Michael Hogg. Those factors included the allegedly stolen bottle of whiskey that may have sparked the New Year's Day 2014 stabbing incident that claimed Hogg's life. Matthew Blackburn was the man who drove the defendant in the case, James Huffman IV, and Patrick Smith, to Whitesburg on New Year's Eve 2013. The three planned to watch a concert at Summit City Lounge. Blackburn said Huffman brought the bottle of whiskey over from Hogg's vehicle after sitting in the vehicle with two females who had been a part of Hogg's party. He claimed Blackburn testified that the females gifted him the bottle. Blackburn said he later left Smith and Huffman in Whitesburg after he and Smith got into a fight when Blackburn was attempting to leave after the turn of the new year. The bottle of whiskey was later found in the vehicle Blackburn had driven to Whitesburg on New Year's Eve. The prosecution next called Christopher Puckett, who was the first man allegedly stabbed by Huffman the night Hogg was killed. Puckett acknowledged that Hogg was angry that Huffman allegedly took his bottle of whiskey. He also said the exchanges between Hogg's group and Huffman and his alleged co-conspirator in the stabbing, Patrick Smith, were peaceful leading up to the stabbing incident. Puckett said Huffman, quote, sucker punched him, and when Puckett began to fight back, Huffman stabbed him in the back. Puckett said Hogg then went after Huffman. The next thing Puckett saw, he testified, was Huffman and Smith on top of Hogg. It was while the group was fleeing from Huffman and Smith, Puckett said, that he only then discovered discovered Hogg had been mortally wounded. Well, once I turned around from seeing them chasing us down the hill, that's, that's when I knew something was wrong with Mike. And Samantha was screaming, oh my God, oh my God. And I looked up over the seat and just seen Mike like, holding his neck and his chest and blood was going everywhere. At that point, I wasn't worried about myself. Were you in a lot of pain at that point? No, I just worried about my. Hogg succumbed to his injuries shortly after. Puckett has since recovered from his life-threatening knife wound. Cross-examination of prosecution witnesses continued throughout the rest of Friday's hearing and is expected to continue Monday. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.